Hey everybody, Andy Martinez Jr. here, your boy AMJ. And thank you all for watching our videos. Thank you for our YouTube subscriptions and our you know, responses on Instagram and all these things. I really appreciate them. Today's video, I wanna to talk to you about this question that I get often. What's the one thing that I would like to, um, if of all things, teach my son? For those of you who don't know, I have a beautiful nine-year-old nine, nine and a half year old, damn, he's gonna be 10 soon, uh, son. And um, all the time I'm getting asked like, you know, if there's one thing, what was that one thing you would teach him? And that one thing is, it's really difficult to answer. Since I talk a lot about business uh, on these YouTube videos, I'm gonna share with you what I constantly try to um, implement in my son, you know, plant that seed in his mind. And the subject is, you know, obviously, money. I grew up in a generation where we didn't talk about money and you know my family, our personal finances, they kept them kind of to themselves. I guess they didn't believe in wanting to uh, stress out the kids or that the kids shouldn't um, really be uh, made aware of what was going on in terms of those things. In the history of my life, I kind of look back on that and my parents are both uh, brilliant. Um, I, my step parents are also brilliant. Um, and it astonished me that when I got into college and after college, how little I really knew about um, finances, um, generating uh, wealth, um, because I was really never taught those things. And even when I went to college, uh, I was studying business and at college I realized even the first year that I wasn't learning any of the shit that I, that I started to realize I was really gonna need to learn for the rest of my life. So. In my house today, um, I do talk a lot about money um, in front of my son. I take a lot of my business calls in front of my son. I have a lot of uh, business meetings if he's with me. I have him come along. I try to get him to sit as still as possible. Um, and I do this really because I want him to learn. Um, you know, even though he's in fourth grade right now and he's learning, you know, things like, you know, fractions and history and, you know, they're starting to get into um, civics and things like that. These are all amazing things, but these are things that I don't use in my day-to-day -day life. I, I really don't. And at the end of the day, the thing that I worry the most about and put the most effort in is into my work and into my business. Because I want to be successful at what I do so that I can take care of my family, right? That's, that's why we go to work, right? To take care of our families. Now, the one thing out of everything that I would teach Enzo is you know not to get into debt. And unfortunately for me, that was that was my hard lesson because I really got into debt at an early age. And I never really had an understanding of the decisions that I was making at that time when I started applying for the what? Those credit cards. Now credit cards are evil. They're fantastic, you need them. But they're very, very evil, especially when you were like me, young, dumb, you know. I've learned a lot of things the hard way. I'm not as bright as I look. And um, there was times in, in my life where I was starting to make um, important decisions that I wasn't prepared to, to make. I didn't have the knowledge, right? Starting with credit cards. Now, how effed up is this? I remember the first credit card I ever applied for. I was uh, walking through campus at Miami-Dade, uh, back then it was Miami-Dade Community College, now it's Miami-Dade College, shout out to the 305, and I was walking through school, and of course, you know, I'm 18 years old, maybe 18 going on 19, somewhere in there, not a lot of money in my pocket, right, I'm just a student, graduated from high school, and um, I, I remember walking by the cafeteria, and there was two tables, one was for the military, which I got in a little bit of trouble so I couldn't enlist right away. I would have loved to have done that. But two, there was the other table, table number two. And that one, that one had the little bank on there, right? There was a little banker sitting behind a table and I remember just walking by and this cute lady said to me, would you like to apply for a credit card? And I thought to myself, hmm, credit card. Yeah, my parents, they have credit cards, right? Everybody pays with a credit card. What's a, I don't have a credit card, let me get a credit card. So 
I sat down with her, you know, I filled out the little application and this was before you could just, um, you know, type it into the laptop and, and get an instant response. I remember I had to fill out the form. She helped me out. I didn't even have a job. I didn't even have a job. And she said, don't worry about that. You're a college student. We have special programs or special understandings for kids that are in school. So I continued filling out the forms. Kids in school, college student, no job, should not be getting a, a credit card, n nor the institution of Miami-Dade College, colleges all around, shouldn't be having people sitting, setting tables out there and, and soliciting to kids uh, uh, credit cards. They're getting in enough debt anyways, right? College is expensive as shit. I dropped out of college after my first year, which probably saved me a ton more debt. I have so many amazing friends that, um, so many amazing friends that are still paying off their, their, their student uh, loans or college loans, and it's been 20 plus years. But anyways, that's another video, credit cards. The one thing I would tell Enzo is like, be really careful with how you use your credit cards. Let me give you an idea. I remember that credit card. It was a, a bank first credit card, and I think I got approved for a credit line of $500. First thing I went out and did <laughs> was go party with that money. I was 19, I probably went out somewhere where that would sell me beers, and I probably bought drinks for everybody, because most of my friends didn't have money for that, and um, I racked it all up on my credit card, and 30 days later, I got a statement that said, hey, you gotta pay this bill. Now the bill was probably for $500, but there was a little column that said minimum payment, and it was something like 20 bucks. And I thought to myself, wow, I can spend $500 and pay $20 a month to pay that back? Awesome, that sounds good to me. You know what I did, young and dumb? I went out and I got like three or four more credit cards and I racked them all up. Next thing I knew is those four or five credit cards, those minimum payments turned into a few hundred dollars a month. And now I was scrambling to pay for those bills, right? I needed to make money to make those minimum payments. Eh, I'm not gonna pay them. What the hell? What can they do to me, right? Well, your credit report. The first time I missed a payment, I got a letter in the mail saying that if I don't make this payment within 30 days, that it was gonna get reported to the three credit bureaus. What's a credit bureau? Never heard of that before. Well, the credit bureaus are Experian, uh, TransUnion, and Equifax. And these are three, who knows who they are, but entities that credit uh, card companies, banks, anything that you're financing, report to. And why are they reporting to these people? Well, they report to these people so that when another financial institution wants to make a decision on whether or not you're a credit worthy applicant, say now you're 35 years old and you wanna buy a house, right, for your family, or you wanna start investing, which I prefer you do, in real estate, they're gonna pull your credit report. And if you, that payment that you missed way back in high school, well, not high school, college, let's say 35, let's say I was 19, all right? I wanted to start investing at the age of like 25. If I missed that payment when I was 19 years old and six years later, I've graduated from college, I've, I've learned from the errors of my ways and my mistakes, they pull my credit report, that credit report goes back seven years and they're gonna see that seven years ago, I missed payments. And those payments are gonna affect my FICO score. Your FICO score is just, point system that they use to uh, uh, decide whether or not um, you're going to pay um, a very good interest rate or a very high interest rate or your, <laughs> your credit is so bad we're not going to loan you shit. These, this credit worthiness dominates every aspect of your life. I can't go to the bank um, or I couldn't go to the bank and ask them for a loan on an, on an amazing investment deal because my credit was shit. They weren't gonna loan me the money. They also will use that for just about everything in your life. Interest affects you in such a way that it will drown you. High interest rates will drown you. People that have really good credit scores pay low interest, sometimes no interest. All right, when my credit got really good and I was making money, started making money, I went out and got a car, not a great investment, but I did go out and get a car and I got like a 0.9% interest rate on that car that I purchased. 
Now, if I would have shit credit and people do today, I'm hearing things about people going out and buying cars and getting in charge uh, 12, 13, 14% uh, interest on these vehicles. It's crazy. It's crazy to think that, that an institution can charge you such a high interest rate on a loan. You know, if, I, if a friend of mine came up to me and said, hey, Andy, I wanna, uh, I wanna ask you for a $20,000 loan. And I said to that person, hey, I'm happy to do it, but I'm gonna charge you 30% interest. That's called loan sharking. And it's illegal. I can go to jail for that. But banks, financial institutions, they can do that. And it's right there in the terms. And they, they give it back on, on the back page to you, plain as day, and it's okay for them to do that to you. And when you get that first bill, take a look at that little column where it says minimum payment due. Now, back then they didn't, but now they'll show you that if you just make the minimum payment, sometimes it'll take you 10 years to pay off that credit card, just making a minimum payment. Think about that. You take a credit card out, they give you a $500 loan on, on that credit card. You pay 20 bucks a month for the next 10 years to pay a $500 loan off. 10 years, that's 120 months. 120 months times 20, what is that? Uh, $2,400. You just paid $2,400 on a $500 loan and it took you a decade, a decade to pay that. I mean, imagine if, you accrued, and this is what, what's been happening to most people, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars worth of credit card debt all before the age of 25, right? You'll never be able to pay that off, never. And that is the idea. The idea is for them to get you when you're young, put you in debt, and get you out in the workforce, because now you gotta work to pay those bills. You're not following your dreams, you're not, you know, it takes a little while for you to find your, what your dreams and your ambitions and what you're good at, what you really want to do with your life. But in the meantime, when you're trying to figure that out, you get into debt and you have to take a shitty job at a, I don't know, one of those customer service uh, facilities, which I did. I had to call people and try to sell them, what was it? I was selling them, I was selling them long distance, not even on their cell phones. I was selling them long distance. It was a company called, shit, Excel. I forget, but there I was sitting down somewhere in a dark room with a hundred other young kids trying to, uh, trying to sell long distance because that's really what I wanted to do in my life, right? I'm 19 years old, I want to sell long distance. Um, and I mainly was there working to pay off bills and debt that I had accrued from making stupid decisions. Credit, card, credit cards are important, they're a way of life. The one thing I can tell you is, and this is the way I've been living my life for a very long time now, and this is the one thing I would share with Enzo. If you're going to get a credit card and use a credit card, we all have to, right? Because we want to build a credit history. You got to be able to pay it off at the end of the month. These days, whenever I use my credit card to make a purchase, so easy right now. The app is on my phone. I pay it. I get my points. And then I just pay it right then. You know, I, uh, the Apple card, I use it. I love it, it's heavy, it's nice, it feels like a, one of those American Express uh, black cards, the platinum cards, slam it down, it goes ting, 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 when it hits the table, people like to look at it, it's nice and white, it's really cool looking. I use it, I get a prompt on my phone saying that there was a transaction made on it, I open up the app, I put my thumb on the, uh, on the phone, and I make a full payment on it, period. I take advantage of the points and the transaction, but I pay it off. The one thing I would tell Enzo is don't get into debt, credit card debt, don't get into debt. Get into good debt, like real estate debt. That's another video. But the one thing I would tell uh, my son the most is don't get into bad debt. And credit cards are not good debt. They're there to, to, to keep you from pursuing your dreams and your goals. They're not there to help you, they're not there to service you, and they mislead. I believe we are all entitled to read the fine print. We should all make decisions. All of the information is there for you, and that is absolutely true. You signed on the dotted line. It's your responsibility to make the payment. I understand that, but when you're 18, you're impulsive. A lot of people don't really think through the consequences of the actions they're about to take, especially young people, and I don't really think it's fair for financial institutions that have spent billions of dollars on legal jargon um, and marketing tactics and putting a cute chick at a table asking some chubby guy to come over and if you want to sign up for a credit card these tactics they're unfair right and they fish you they got me and uh, it hurt me for a long time so thanks for watching this video 
leave me your comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't get credit cards unless you can pay them off. That's it. Love you, son.